there are many ways that you can power your vehicles in Stormworks. You know, you can use motors, you can use steam turbines, steam pistons, prefab engines, jets, and modular engines. And in particular, I want to focus on modular engines today. Because if you ask your average player how many modular engine types are there, let's say three. There's a one by one, there's a three by three, and there's a five by five. If someone says that to you, they're wrong. There's actually a fourth, which just no one pays attention to. Everyone simply just seems to gloss over it because no one actually really uses it in any big workshop builds or any practical applications. It's very, very rarely used. It's understandable why. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about 3x1. Now, the 3x1 modular crankshaft is a crankshaft that can fit 8 cylinders. 8 cylinders being 1x1 one one cylinders onto itself. Now, this is a, quite the feat. It basically means that you can make radials, 8-cylinder radials. But is it actually worth it? So if you actually go into the workbench and search up modular, you'll notice that there is actually modular engine crankshaft 3x1. And most people don't notice this because they'll just, you know, they'll be building engines like, oh, well, I'm going to need a 1x1. So they'll search up these bits, or I'm going to need a 3x3, as they search up the 3x3s. And even if you do search up mod modular engine, you know, you don't really think about what this is. Similar with these crankshaft converters, no one really thinks about them because they're not widely used. And so what I thought we'd do today is actually build an engine with this crankshaft and just talk about why it's not used. This engine is very unusual because I guess it uses one by one cylinders. And you can tell that because of the fittings that it's got in it, these fittings here. So you can fit eight of these cylinders onto this engine. Now that looks weird, because it is, but you're using one by one cylinders, but you end up having to use three by three parts. So you'll use a three by three clutch. You'll use a three by three drive belt. It means it gets really, really chunky, really fast. Now you can use, you can put on eight belt attachments, which is awesome, but you've got this massive clutch and this massive crankshaft for what is comparatively a very, very large engine. Because you must remember that we're using eight cylinders here. Eight cylinders can fit on a one by one using two crankshafts. That is literally the same amount of space as if we took all these off and we'd be using the same amount of space if we made an eight cylinder one by one. It's proof of that. Let's make one. Because obviously the belt drive does extend it a bit, but you can see that actually this is much, much smaller. Now obviously it's got no parts in it, but neither does this. There is no size reason to use these. Because at this size, you might as well use a one cylinder three by three. Because you'll get more power out of it. So that's the big issue with this engine, is that for its size, it doesn't produce anywhere near enough power. Because if you want compactness, you'll go with a one by one. And if you want power, you'll go with a three by three. It's in that awkward position in the middle where no one has any requirement for it that would require the specific dimensions that it needs because it needs a 5x5 five five area. Now, if you think about that, a 5x5 five five area, well, that's 25 blocks in terms of cross-sectional cross -sectional area. A one-cylinder 3x3, three three, if you're excluding all the parts like this, is a 3x6. That's 18. 18 blocks cross-sectional area. That's less. So technically, you could argue that it's smaller to make a one cylinder three by three. Heck, it's only two blocks bigger to make a two, two cylinder three by three. So why make one of these? All right, we've got an engine. Let's, uh, let's see if this runs. So you can see that actually it's, you know, it works fine. But is this what we want? You know, this is a huge engine for what it's doing. So why don't we try and make an 8-cylinder 1x1, one one, and let's compare that next to it. Alright, so, 
what do you think the result's going to be? You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, this is, it's got less resistance because there's fewer crankshaft pieces, which makes sense because that is a, that is component that basically if you have less crankshafts in a line, you have less resistance in your engine. Well, is using the same ECU, same tuning, same everything. This is at a throttle of 0 0.27 at the moment. This is at a throttle of 0 0.34. We're running this at 4.53 RPS. This is at 4.92. Our outputting 5.8 storm watts versus 4.94 storm watts. If I put the throttle up. Uh. You can see, you know, we are going, what, quite high throttle. You know, we can get to 10 RPS. We can get to that too on this one. And it's, it's kind of a, with this, you know, we're using, I think we're using less fuel as well. You know, we're at 21.3, yeah, 20.9. So we're using less fuel. We're getting more performance. And we're more compact. So why use this engine? There's, there's, unfortunately, there's no, no reason, no real reason to use this engine, which is quite simply why this three by one is Stormworks forgotten engine. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more videos kind of like this, let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.